What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're amazing. So today we are talking all things camera confidence. Uh, I'm gonna go be going into a little bit of things to be focusing on while you're presenting, some tips on presenting, and also some ways to present to camera or actually capture the video content that you can do. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Alan Howe. We talk all things bringing out your uniqueness, bringing out the very best of you for life and business. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So we have the pleasure of working with different people of different confidence levels and speaking levels uh, to help them establish a video presence on you know, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Uh, we have a process where we film it all in the space of two days. And there's a lot of different pieces in that process that helps our clients get to that point. What I'd like to do in today's video is really uncover some of the secrets and some of the bits and pieces that have allowed us to actually have our clients get to that stage where they're confident, first of all, and then secondly, some of the styles that uh, people then flow better. Because obviously everyone's different. Everyone's going to be better in different situations and circumstances. And what may seem daunting, like sitting in front of a camera with, without an audience or without someone supporting them, may be different for someone who just needs to not think about it and just wants to film on the go sort of thing. So I'm gonna be rolling through a number of different tips in today's video. So let's address the elephant in the room and that is the word confidence. Now, I actually believe confidence is a fad, right? Because confidence is something that people think is external to them, almost like something that they need to reach, obtain, or something that they can strive for. Now, here's the thing. You look at anyone who successfully is able to communicate well to camera, what you'll notice is that they're not concerned about things that most people are concerned about when they're first starting, right? So most people are thinking about what do, what do I look like? Is the lighting right? Who's going to watch the video? Am I going too far into detail? What are people going to say? Is this going to reach my brand? Is this going to help my brand? And, and all the other things. There's a million and one different questions that are running through their head. Whereas a seasoned expert is simply, they know what their message is and they're simply delivering it exactly as they need to. So for someone who is at this stage, who does need that help and does need that support, what I would not talk about is confidence, I would talk about the word focus. This is important because this person is extremely focused on what they want and what they need and is simply just delivering. This person, is their focus is everywhere. So what are the focus points that this person needs to focus on? Is it, do you need to focus more on you know, a smaller percentage of people who are really going to love your message. This is gonna bring out your passion. This is gonna bring out your emotion. This is gonna bring out your excitement. And this is really going to have people connect authentically and emotionally to your videos because if someone can see your passion, if someone can see your energy, that's going to immediately flow through and really connect with your audience. The other thing that this person needs to focus on is the value that they're bringing. Making sure that they're not holding back on anything that they can potentially bring to the table or make valuable to someone else, okay? Really think about the value that you're delivering, the value that your audience really wants and really wants to hear. Um, and again, this is going to happen over a course of a period of time. When you're at this stage, it's always easy to compare yourself to someone who is seasoned, who, who does know what they're doing and all those other things, but you're not that person. You're here, especially if you're very starting for the very first time. So accept that you're here, focus on the things that you need to focus on, and over a course of a period of time, you will get here. But that takes time, it takes consistency, and it just takes, you know, getting in, getting dirty, making mistakes, fucking up and going again and again. So now I wanna talk about presenting to camera. So this can obviously be the most daunting part, sitting in front of a camera by yourself, um, trying to work out how to do things. Now this is why 
we offer a video agency where we come out and film because actually having someone to support you through that process and really have you understand which things do I need to be focusing on, which things don't I need to be focusing on, that can actually help you a lot more than you realize initially anyway. But for now, for this video, I wanna show you some tips and tricks how to do this by yourself, but also if you do have the opportunity to hire a video agency or a videographer or even us, some of the things that they can take you through to make sure you get what you need. So I am a massive fan of creating video content with dot points. And what I mean by that is I will tend to write out a topic I'll write out a few dot points, things like how would I do things differently, why I'm sharing, um, and any other points that are relevant to the video that I'm doing. Now this is also good, like if I need to remember any statistics, if I'd like to recall a metaphor, a metaphor is basically where you paint a picture or you, know, you tell a story and it relates back to what you're sharing. These are things to put in your notes, right? And these are great to be able to read and then go. Read and then go. If you need to stop, start, that's where the editing comes in. Whenever I do a Facebook Live, I always do these points, I always do these notes. When we actually film with people, we also have a teleprompter to follow the same process. And let me show you this. All right, so this is the teleprompter that we use. Now, I don't know if you can actually see this, but effectively, here's the tripod. The, we've got an iPad with some notes that's reverse. And once we stick these notes on the teleprompter, you can actually read them. The person who's sitting behind the camera can read them. Now, this is where we put the camera. The camera goes in this black housing um, just there. So. The text doesn't actually appear on the screen, obviously. The person can just simply read what they need to from the dot points that they've written down. And this, the reason we focus so much on dot points is more so that people just authentically are able to bring out their passion, are able to bring out more of authentically of themselves. You can put a script on a teleprompter like this and read through a script, my preference, unless it needs to be word for word. So for example, the only time that I would ever suggest to anyone to script out a video is when you're doing it for like, whether it's a specific campaign and, and or a specific website and you need to have, you know, the wording needs to be exact or the whatever needs to be exact. But if you're looking to really build trust and you're really looking to build authenticity, this is where being a real human being counts. And the more that you can show that authenticity and still cover your dot points and everything else, this is why I suggest and recommend to always have dot points because points allows you to keep a structure, allows you to have a flow, and also allows you to finish off where you need to without too much rambling in between. Now, the other two types of videos that I love is where it's more conversational. Now, I'm going to play a couple of different clips um, while I'm talking but effectively these sorts of videos are where I will get our clients to write out a couple of questions, questions that they would like to be asked, whether it's about their experience, whether it's about their industry, their morals, their values, the things that they really want to share that's sometimes hard to talk about unless someone asks them. And I will be that person who asks them behind the camera and get them to talk about it. This may be where you're sort of sitting on like a diagonal angle and or your eyes are pointed, whether it's just the, to the left or just to the right of the, of the camera. And you can pretend to be talking to someone just like I am now. Well, thank you for that question. Here's my answer. But because it's more conversational, it allows a much better flow. When you're simply having a conversation with someone and or, uh, a potential client, which you may do on the phone every day, or you're doing it through emails and everything else. When you're talking to someone, you're just flowing. And this is why I love these types of videos because they, they again, they bring out someone's passion, they bring out someone's authenticity, and it allows you to just flow naturally. Whenever we have someone who is struggling on camera and or, um, not working too well with the dot points and everything else and or just need some momentum to begin with, 
the conversational type videos where I'll sit behind the camera, I'll get them all warmed up and, and make sure they're ready to go. I'll then ask them a couple of questions and they'll then look at me, not at the camera, look at me and then answer those questions. And again, this is, this is a really good way of just bringing out someone's authenticity. The last type of videos that I like to do is while someone's in the action. So we actually have videos where we actually follow someone in the action, whether that's in a gym, whether that's in a car, or whether that's doing a workout, whatever the case is, we have different videos where we're actually just asking people what's happening during the process. Um, they're explaining what they're doing and all those other things during that process as well. Um, and I really like these videos because it just allows someone to be in their environment, be where they're comfortable, and you've not only got the social proof of the situation or the circumstance or whatever else you're doing, but you're also then able to, you know, piece, like piece these little clips together. Obviously this does require a second person, someone who's going to video and everything else. But I think this, these sorts of videos gives you a lot of social proof and it gives you a lot of different aspects that you can do. And the last video that I haven't talked about is just simply free flowing. These free flowing ideas and, and everything else should only be executed if you've got the confidence um, and if you know exactly what you're about to say and you just like whip out the camera, I already know what I'm gonna say, um, I don't really need to write it down, um, which I've actually done for this video anyway, so I think I've done a quite a good job. I'd love your feedback. How did you find this video? Have you found some tips that um, you haven't thought about before? And or would you like help? Would you like someone to take you through and guide you through this process? We have a video agency. We have videographers across Australia. Um, including myself who, who more than happy to help if that's something that you'd like to do. Either way, there's a whole stack of information below um, and I'll also put some links and bits and pieces to the products um, and different pieces that I have, including our teleprompter, including the app. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any of our future videos talking about video tips, talking about really bringing out your uniqueness and all those other things in between. I'm gonna love you and leave you, go get it.